It is K. And it is Gogo. And we're here in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Here we United came. Emirates. And we're taking you along to the Grand Mosque. Wow, we are excited, aren't we, Gogo? Yeah, it looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, we're just we're making our way in now. We're going to show you all about it. Yeah, we're going to show you all about it. So, this way takes us in. And it's huge, it's absolutely huge. You see the mosque from the road, don't you, Gogo? Yeah, but you have to get the entrance from underground. Yeah, and you'll see there's like a big glass cylinder and you go underground and that's where you have to register at the desk to get your ticket to come into the mosque. It is yes. free and make sure you check out the days and the times as to when it's open. Yeah. So this mosque, Gogo? The largest mosque in United Arab Emirates. Wow. It looks absolutely stunning. And the uh, architecture is gonna take our mind away. Yeah. The thing which I love is that the sun is setting. So we've came at a time where the sun's setting. And through these arches, it's so beautiful. There's really not words to describe just how beautiful it is. It is incredible. What do you think, Gogo? I'm speechless. So I'm beautiful. I'm speechless. It's huge. You can pray outside in this area as well. Yes. Pray inside as well as inside. Beautiful. The columns are beautiful and... There are 1,096 columns in this mosque as well and they're all hand painted and they've all got a beautiful gold leaf round as well so beautiful is a big flower light and it's to celebrate diversity of different cultures it's so beautiful i bet you'll get it from one <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna ask gogo if we can have a chandelier like that in our sitting room tomorrow <laughs> Very, very busy, as to be expected, but very well organized in here. Yeah, look like this and look at the floor, the marble. Gogo said, what about that chandelier? And this is the main praying hall for men. For men. So we came to have something to eat a little bit different and we're going to be eating some Afghani Pakistani food and you might be thinking but why when we in the United Arab Emirates however we want to show you what multicultural cuisines you can find here in Abu Dhabi we're starting off with some Afghani soup Afghani soup. I haven't got a clue what that is because didn't order this. It just came to the table. Yeah. <laughs> All I said was, "Is it mine?" They say yes. yes. This is just bone marrow. Tastes like bone cooked meat. Stock. stock. Mm. Like this is stock and it's just like spicy. It's not very thick, but it's so delicious. It's got like little vegetables inside it. No? Bone marrow. 
mm. and some turmeric as well because it's so sweet and spicy but it's really sweet for my taste so some pepper I don't need salt now that looks a lot better you know what I always love this stocking like bone marrow mom used to make it for us as well but it's got spices in it like pepper i put extra pepper in it some turmeric make it sweetness and some chili powders as well make it chili and spicy and so easy basic delicious So refreshing and it also opens your stomach make you ready for the big meal just like that so a lot of the spices have settled at the bottom so I'm giving it a stir the smell I can smell it's definitely stock, so bone stock, and some cinnamon in there as well. Mm, it's really good. Mm. So spices have got me, but I'm going to do like go and put some pepper in. Learning from the best. <laughs> Learning from the best. Because we love black pepper. It's really good. It's like a clear soup. Yummy. What is for your main dish, Gogo? Peshari, Kahari, Karahi, chicken. Pakistani foods. Came with salad. Salad looks delicious. It does because all the fresh, the crunchy vegetables I can see on there lettuce, mm -hmm. cucumber, cabbage, no tomato and onion. But this dish comes with a small bread. Small bread. <laughs> it's fresh, it's freshly made as well. Mm. Like it is actually freshly made. I'm going to waste for no time. Because if you're new to our channel, you won't know, but Gogo lives for bread. He loves bread. Especially when the bread is fresh to make like this. We've never had this dish before, no. so we don't know what it entitles because we don't know from the menu. Yeah. Obviously, it looks tomatoey and chickeny. Chickeny and peppery. Mmm. So, what I'm going to do. Wow, the smell is unbelievable. Lots of garlic. Ooh. You can see the chili oil as well on it, like so greasy. Smells delicious. Garlic, onion, chilies, tomato, all comes to you when you have a deep breath. That smell is so nice. I've been really looking forward to go go trying some Pakistani food because I travelled to Pakistan and I absolutely loved the food. So I'm really happy that he's getting to taste some Pakistani food. Basic spicy tomato sauce, but smoky mm. because this chicken has been cooked on the barbecue and they get the smoked on the charcoal grill mm. and then give this beautiful, spicy, tomato oily sauce. Mm. And it makes extra unique. You get like peppers, you get like red peppers, you get garlic hits here, onion hits here, and the tomato is so delicious. I haven't had a chance to taste the chicken yet, but Gets to King Gogo. I got the chicken taste yeah. in my mouth without eating the chicken. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. The best way to do it, get a chicken, get some sauce. Waste no time and make it up.
This is the real thing. The chicken cooked perfect. So tender, so juicy, and smoky. The barbecue smoke, the charcoal actually, you can taste the smoke on that chicken and the tomato sauce, the spices, everything blending. 10 out of 10. I'm going straight in with some chicken. Okay. When Gogo is telling me smoky, barbecuey, that's exactly what this is. Wow, that's amazing. Mm. That sauce is unbelievable. This bread is so soft but crunchy at the same time and I am just dying to get dipped into this. Oh, look at that. Just look at those juices. Just look at that. Delicious. <laughs> Mm. Look at that spicy oil, the layer of the oil, making it almost thick, like a thick type of puree, the sauce. Mm. The smokiness is almost like a burnt taste. That's how much it is. So smoky and ultra delicious. I'm gonna have some go go salad because I've not dressed mine yet. I'll let you off then. <laughs> <laughs> Pakistan. I think it's time I Two. brought go go to taste your food. When I had chicken do piazza in India, that became my favorite dish ever. I never thought something would take it over. I'm so sorry, India. Pakistan, you did it. Mm. My most favorite dish ever. Delicious. I wasn't expecting this. This is so delicious. This yeah. dish is gonna be hard to beat. Does it get a hand rub? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is the real thing. So this little place here, we were highly recommended to come here and you might think, oh, it's very quiet. And the reason is, is because it's Ramadan, people have came earlier to eat. We've came a little bit later just to give people space. Um, and also so that we can talk and it not be too noisy and also as well. And just get right here as well. Yeah, so our first day, yeah, today. So this has been a good stop. Mm -hmm. More lemon on the salad. And Gogo will probably finish the second bread. He probably will. He's really enjoying it, huh? I am loving this food. The sauce is as good as the chicken, isn't it? The sauce is delicious. Really delicious. 34 real, that was all that meal. Wow, that's amazing. Amazing. I'm speechless. Delicious? Yeah, delicious. We'll put the details in the description yeah. for you. If you want a mind blowing food, come and visit this place. So we hope that you've enjoyed a little look around the mosque and some Pakistani food with us. That was absolutely delicious. It's been an amazing start to our time here in Abu Dhabi. And we look forward to showing you lots more and eating our way around Abu Dhabi. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please make sure to give us a like. Subscribe. And a comment. And hit the bell button so you won't miss the next adventure. And thank you so much for thank watching. You. We love you all. Love you. Bye. Bye.